Weather describes the atmospheric conditions in an area at a specific time. So what are atmospheric conditions? Well, that just describes what's going on outside. So the temperature, the wind speed, the wind direction, precipitation, is it, is it raining, or clouds, is it cloudy, is it sunny? All of those are descriptions of the atmospheric conditions. But the weather is constantly changing, and it can be different in different places and at different times. So that's why when we talk about the weather, we usually talk about a specific place. This weather report is for the Mesquite Metro Airport. And we also usually talk about a specific time. This weather report was from 9.50 a.m. on November 12th. And so that tells us what the weather conditions were on a specific date at a specific place. We use different instruments to measure the weather, such as thermometers, wind vanes, and rain gauges. Temperature is measured with a thermometer. This thermometer is measuring the temperature in degrees Celsius. I can see on this first picture that outside the temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. And this second picture is inside and the temperature here is 26 degrees Celsius. Dial thermometers also measure the temperature. But it's important that you understand that on a dial thermometer, you start at zero and read from there. So the first thermometer is showing us that the temperature is between 39 and 40 degrees Celsius. When I look at the second thermometer, once again, I count from zero and I see that this thermometer is measuring a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. When we're recording the temperatures in an area on a specific day, we normally record the high temperature and the low temperature. The high temperature is just how warm it was on that day. And so the high temperature on this day was 26 degrees Celsius. The low temperature is just the coolest that it was. And that often happens at night after the sun goes down or before the sun comes up. And on this day, the low temperature was 12 degrees Celsius. Precipitation, which could be rain, sleet, or snow, is measured using a rain gauge. And so this rain gauge has centimeters on one side and inches on the other. You can measure either way. And so it's telling me that this is about six centimeters of precipitation or 2.4 inches of precipitation. Now I can see in my table that precipitation is being asked for in centimeters. And so I'll record the precipitation as six centimeters of rain. Wind direction is measured with a wind vane, and wind vanes can also be called weather vanes. Wind vanes point in the direction that the wind is blowing from. So you can see here that the wind is blowing from the east, and so the wind vane is pointing towards the east. When we record the wind direction, we actually record the direction the wind is coming from, and that's the direction that the wind vane is pointing, so that makes it very easy. So the wind vane is pointing to the east, and that's because the wind is coming from the east, and so that's what I record as the wind direction. So here, my first wind vane on the left, I can see that the wind vane is pointing to the south. That means that the wind is coming from the south, and I can record that by just putting an S. That tells me that the wind is coming from the south. On the right, this wind vane is actually pointing between the north and the west. So it's pointing to the northwest. And so I can record the wind direction as northwest because the wind is blowing from the northwest. Wind socks can also be used to determine wind direction. And wind socks are often used because they're easier to see from a distance. Wind socks are just kind of tubes of fabric that get blown in the wind. And so you can see here that the wind is blowing from the west and just pushing the wind sock. So the wind sock is being pushed from the west and that's how you can tell which way the wind is blowing. So I hope this video has helped you understand how to measure and record weather a little better. Keep up the great work and I'll see you next time.